did you stay from the sunset till the sunrise till we opened up both eyes beer in the morning good morning guys oh honestly best it's the best feeling of waking up in LA. I'm in LA! <laughs> so yesterday I drove Anakin to the airport and now I'm at uh, Kristen and Alex's house. Um, you guys know them, Mr. and Mrs. Vegan on YouTube and Instagram. Um, I love these people. They have always been so friendly and accommodating and now I'm in their guest house which Alex built by himself, which is crazy. I haven't really explained to you why I'm here, uh, but it's basically just to get motivation to move back. Uh, if you didn't know, I used to live here two years ago and my visa expired and a lot of stuff uh, has been happening in my family. So I've been home and two years went by like that. Uh, but now I, I effing need to get my butt back here because I'm so happy here. Like a place can't determine your happiness, but it, it can definitely complement your lifestyle. Like I need to wake up, start my day, let's go. So I'm on my way to the beach, but I just had to stop. Because um, this is way too beautiful. Look at this. So there's the Santa Monica Pier with the Ferris wheel. You've probably seen it in tons of movies and stuff. And just this road here is so beautiful. People do yoga and there are different like parks along the side here where people meditate. And this is where we had the meetup, by the way, a couple of years ago. <laughs> Oh, I'm at Venice Beach now, one of my favorite places. And try to come here if you're ever here, not in the weekends, but in a weekday and kind of early. And the beach will look like this. How freaking pretty is that? I know a lot of people associate Venice Beach with a lot of homeless people, a lot of noise, and, and it can be that as well. Ooh, the birds are flying, so pretty. And it can be that as well, and it's fun to kind of be a part of the craziness sometimes. It's also very nice to be here when it's this peaceful. And the sand is white and really fluffy and soft. Look, I'm the only one that has walked here. <laughs> and a bird. Let's follow. Oh, trash. Come on, people. Don't leave this shit around. Following the tracks. Okay, seems like I got nothing to do. <laughs> but I'm enjoying myself. Okay, honestly, I think I want to cry. Okay, so when I first started with the Love Attraction, I asked for a feather. I wanted to see a feather everywhere, and I did. And since then, every time I see a feather like this, um, positive changes are gonna come my way. I'm so ready for positive changes right now. Yay. Hi hey guys, so I'm at Real Food Daily. I loved it so much, so I came back. Um, and I'm waiting for, uh, I'm gonna meet this Norwegian YouTuber, her name is Tina And I see her and her friend walking past, I walked past two times now And I've sent them a message letting them know that it's here but they don't get it, so fun to watch Here they come <laughs> Okay, so the girls arrived, they finally found the door <laughs> And now we're gonna dig in. Yummy! 
Okay hey guys, look, this is a cat cafe and this guy, he's not having it. He's like, what <laughs> are you doing to me? <laughs> okay, this is the... Oh, look at that girl, just cuddling the cat. Oh. I've never seen anything like this. Okay, look at them, they're chilling. <laughs> each other and so basically you can adopt these cats uh, they're rescue cats and these two are brothers they want them to be adopted together and not separated which I think is so cute <laughs> oh the height <laughs> amazing this is yeah, heaven <laughs> You probably remember him from my, what is it called, the uh, festival? From um, uh, Palmasus. Palmasus. Yeah, actually never been here before. So it yeah, if we had some more up. time, we could go up behind the sign. Yeah, because I really want a picture. I've seen so many people take a photo from behind there and then you get a nice view and everything. Cool. So that's, so that's downtown. downtown. That way, and then you have Santa Monica and Venice towards that way. And then, yeah, Hollywood cool. and Beverly Hills over there. You're such a local. <laughs> I'm leaving tomorrow and I absolutely don't want to at all. Oh. But now I got like the motivation I need to apply for that freaking visa and get back here. What was your name again? I'm Melissa. Nice, nice to meet you. you. I'm, Sa I'm nice Tom. Nice to meet you. Cornelia. Nice to meet you. Are you, are you oh. satisfied with the photos I'm shooting <laughs> yeah. of you? Yeah. I like that one. That's a good one right there. Yeah. Woo. Sweet. Cool. Thanks, cool. guys. Thank you. Thank Alt 98.7, it's Marty. A lot of people at 4th. Just got back from the Hollywood sign, made a quick change in wardrobe. And um, now I'm gonna meet Shannon at Cabbage Patch. Uh, you may know her as Basic Vegan Bitch on Instagram and YouTube. So excited to see her again. So I'm at Tom's offices now with Shannon. She works here. And they got a freaking slide. Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm really such a dork. <laughs> and then you slide right out to this area where a lot of people are watching. <laughs> so far! Yeah. Oh my god! This is Jeanette, by the way. Hi. It was so awkward when coming out, and they're like, okay, what are you doing? <laughs> So much fun. I just left uh, Jeanette and her workspace. I love Tom's. I love the whole concept and I don't know, so creative and fun. And it reminds me of the Google offices. Like, work is supposed to be enjoyable, you know? And they had like inspiring quotes on the wall. And they actually had like an influencer event today, so random. Uh, what am I doing now? I'm leaving tomorrow. But I still have so many people that I want to see, so I'm basically just driving around from place to place and meeting people, eating. I really need to pee. So I'm back at the beach. Um, whenever I need like a timeout or I need to recharge, I come here. I think I'm an introvert, or I know I'm an introvert who loves spending time with people, and that can be pretty exhausting sometimes. Or honestly, I don't know how to define myself. I think I'm somewhere in between. I get energy by spending time with people, but I also get energy uh, by being alone. And I need them both equally. Oh my gosh. I feel like I haven't really talked to you because I've been like here and there and haven't had like a moment to talk. This trip has honestly been so emotional and not like, in a negative way like I've um, felt just happiness all over my body I you just feel when something is right and me living here being here is so freaking right um, and at the same time there's this part of me 
just now and then when I'm in areas that I used to hang before and when I'm close to the apartment where I used to live there's a part of me that gets very it, it's very oh how to explain it like no, nostalgic in a way like bittersweet kind of I don't know like I had a life here had a guy we had a an apartment a dog and at one point my life was perfect here there was nothing not one single thing that I would change I was in love we had a great relationship um, I loved what I was doing what I was studying uh, I loved my work I loved exactly the area I was living I loved the apartment like everything was perfect but at the same time I like the person I am now more than then I'm way more wiser and calmer and um, uh, way more confident and um, yeah so it's not like I wouldn't want my life to be like it was then forever that would be freaking boring I love challenges I love learning I love growing um, and everything that happened had to happen for me to get where I am now and for me to be the person I am now, but still, everything ended so abruptly. Um, and it was like everything, I had a life here, and in one day I moved back, broke up with my boyfriend, didn't like, it ended like that. Um, so, and I didn't have time to feel anything because when I got home, there was so much to deal with there. Um, I'm sorry that I speak in codes, but, uh, I can't really share, but the um, like family situation I've been kind of hinting about a billion times before. Sorry about that. So I didn't have time to kind of process. And now when I'm back and when I'm at the grocery store where we used to, sh where we used to shop and stuff, it just feels... It, it hits me now, two years later. How weird is that? Um, but it's not like a sad, like I miss it. Uh, and I want to go back kind of feeling it's just like a, like wow like my life was so different I don't know how to explain it very unique feeling never had it before a feeling like this is my home but something is different um, and that is a positive thing but it still feels a bit sad <laughs> if that makes sense that's what I feel like <laughs> Anyways, I've had the best day here, met old friends, met new friends, and I'm so motivated to go back, send in my freaking visa application, and move back here before the summer, hopefully. That's uh, the aim, that's my goal, but we'll see. Life changes and life is unpredictable, and honestly, I'm really open to what the universe gives to me right now I, I one thing that I've learned this year is that the universe knows best and I should just lean into it and put out good energy and good things will happen so that's what I'm gonna do but still kind of uh, have the intention of coming back here okay honestly um, so I really need to be and I think I'm just gonna make a hole in the ground. I think it's gonna be alright because there's no one really close. <laughs> Ooh, I don't like this. Okay, now what? I actually did it. Um, one second. <laughs> I know I showed you this a billion times before, but it just makes me happy. Just love me. I wanna be with love you. Me, just love me. I wanna be with you. Oh, look at the pretty sunset. <gasps> Do you want it to see the sunset too? Hey, Tate. Can I get a high five? High five. <laughs> Yay! We took him down to Venice. Yeah, oh, really? Cafe Good morning, guys. <laughs> I'm dressed like it's winter. Um, 
I woke up like 5 a.m. this morning having like a very sore throat. Sorry about the traffic. Um, and I had so many plans for today I'm not, and I'm not sure if I'm going to make them all. But now I'm going to meet uh, Elvira, my Swedish friend, um, at Backyard Balls. And the time is currently like 8, I think. Still feel really poorly, but... I will push through and try to meet as many people as possible before I need to leave later today. So I'm finally here with Elvira! Hey guys! It's been so long. I don't know if you remember her from some of my vlogs, but you might. Do. How long has it been though? When was two years since I left? So probably like two and a half years. Two years. Yeah, super crazy. So we're here at the backyard bowls. Backyard bowls. This is the best thing ever. It smells super good. It's an acai bowl, isn't it? Or yeah, yeah. acai with lots of fruit. No, yeah, berries. It's like protein and, and yeah. almond butter or peanut butter. Yummy. Excited to dig in. That was so lovely to meet Elvira again. Um, it's so nice to have Scandinavian friends here because I don't know they have the same mindset in a lot of ways and also because of the fact that they have also chosen to move from Scandinavia we shared that as well so that's very nice um, so I've changed into what I'm gonna travel in my beloved tracksuit and I'm in Echo Park actually never been here before but it's super lovely and I'm gonna meet a friend an Norwegian friend but it's not gonna show up until like 30 minutes or something so I think I'm just gonna chill in the grass but I'm wearing black and it's very hot outside um, so I'm gonna find some shade so lovely here okay I'm gonna text my friend and see if he's close look at my view by the way so nice I don't know why I always take a bite right when I'm about to speak Sorry. Um, yeah, I got a message from Norwegian, the airline, saying that it's the flight is delayed. So I just drove by Whole Foods, bought some food, so now I'm sitting in my car. I think I'm gonna go to the beach, just lay down there and pray to the universe that I'll be back ASAP. Um, and yeah, eating a vegan cheese pizza with mushrooms and spinach uh, from Whole Foods. By the way, if you want to join me and my friends, um, they started it. Uh, they started it. <laughs> Why did that sound so rude? Uh, ooh, my hair. Yeah, uh, this month, February, uh, we are doing a plastic-free month. Um, it's not about being perfect, but doing your best, obviously, but it's a fun experiment and obviously it's going to help the environment so much if um, if many of us are involved, I think it's going to make a huge change. But obviously, like, each and every one of us can make a change, change every day by, like, using uh, glass bottles, reusable glass bottles instead of plastic bottles. Uh, when we shop at the store, don't put stuff in plastic bring your own i got it there but i can't be bothered to pick it up because it's so heavy um like a reusable net like not a plastic net <sighs> what is it called like a bag where you put your groceries in uh, so let me know if you want to join us uh, follow them on instagram to get inspiration and tips and tricks i will leave that down below i have a feeling it's gonna be a long list of people i'm gonna link down below but I'll explain who everyone is and what they do because uh, I met so many fun interesting people here a lot of my friends are so inspiring and cool and motivating they're doing their own thing Ulidik for example the guy I just saw he is in a band I guess in a duo they make music really cool music they're doing really great so check them out as well and uh, my friend Tom that I went hiking with he is a professional skater um, what do you want to call it <laughs> like he does commercials and stuff like that which is awesome my friend Elvira she's studying 
uh, acting here. She got her um, acting talent visa a couple of years ago, which is super cool. Um, yeah, I'm so proud of my friends and they're, uh, I love hanging around with people who are, it doesn't matter what to do, but as long as they follow their heart, that they do what they feel that they are supposed to do. I'm sorry. I'm kind of, eh, I don't want to say it out loud, but I don't feel too well. Um, but I'm doing everything I can. I'm drinking, where is it? Or I was drinking um, a ginger juice and I'm eating a lot. Like when I'm not feeling too well, I eat a lot uh, to hopefully feel better. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I'm actually, oh, it's still fucking there. <laughs> I was gonna look through the footage to see if I was in focus. I had a freaking lettuce thing between my teeth. Jesus, I'm such a dork sometimes. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Okay, um, I made it to the airport. Honestly, feel so crappy. You can probably tell. And uh, this is an overnight flight, so I'm gonna <coughs> Ooh, um, do my make <laughs> take off my makeup and kind of rinse my face and stuff. So I got these uh, cleansing wipes by Burke Bees. Not sure if they're vegan, but they should be cruelty free. Uh, this, so that's uh, for taking off my mascara. I use this uh, cleansing foam by Rudolph Skincare. It's organic. This, and it can left for me because it's only a bit left, and it's, it's like a facial spray thingy. Also, have some of this for some reason. Not sure where it came from, but um, it's gonna. Oh, you know what it's for. I'm so tired. <laughs> and I got some Carmex. I know Carmex isn't vegan. Still trying to find an a replacement. Um, and what else? Yeah, I actually got a facial mask. But I'm thinking. But I think I'm gonna put that on the airplane.